How's it going, Aaron? It's going really well, Kaylee. Awesome. How are you doing? Good. Good. We are here in City Hall in Airdrie. Apparently, we're going into city chambers or council yeah, we're chambers. Yeah, we a meeting. Yeah, this this could be an mess. interesting one. It might be worth a shot to go in there. Ah, <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs> so, new song has been climbing up the charts. Yeah, it's done well. So, where did that whole song come from? Where did the idea come from? Uh, well, I didn't write the song. Three guys wrote it. Uh, Clint Lagerberg, Albert, uh, Andrew Alberts, and uh, Jordan Schmidt. They're all Nashville guys from different areas of the States. Uh, and yeah, when I heard this, uh, this demo of this song, I was like, man, I didn't really have that first single. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought I would release two other different songs. I thought, well, maybe, maybe one of these two. And when this demo came across uh, my table, I was like, man, I gotta record this song for sure. So. Yeah, it was an easy pick and, and obviously a no-brainer for radio, so I'm pretty happy. It's a good one. Yeah, It's nice. a really good one. Nice. So you said, okay, first single, there was a couple others on the table, mm. so does that mean new music is on its way? Yes, there's a uh, new EP that's going to be coming out in the new year. Exciting. Uh, probably in, uh, in, well, I'm doing a tour as well, so we're, we're going to be starting a tour in January, so we'll release, the, we'll release the EP then as well, coinciding with that. But uh, a new single is going to be coming out in October as well. Cool. Any like teasers you can share with us? About well, it? yeah, it's called Better When I Do and it's uh, it's a pretty cool tune as well. Another one of those times where I heard the demo, I didn't write it again, but uh, another time where I heard those demos, uh, the demo of it, I'm like, I, this, if I don't record this, I'm an idiot. I was in Nashville listening to a bunch of different songs publishers had at their publishing offices. And uh, yeah, it was just an easy one to pick and they're really happy I did, but I, I'm really extremely happy I did and I'm hoping for another top 10. Those are the best, I especially when they're like, the just best. everything comes together. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So it's kind of weird for us to be doing this interview today in Airdrie. I mean, it's September 7th. We, we kind of should be in Hamilton. I know. It's CCMAs. Kind of I know. We're, we're always at the CCMAs. We always. are. We're we should be there. like partying there. I know. <laughs> so, okay, CCMAs, what is your favorite part about being there? We're both missing it this weekend. But... Well, I mean, there, <clears throat> there are cons to being there as well, which there we, are. You know, we, I can tell you about later. But uh, the positives of being there, the most fun things to do is it's just like a reunion. We could see each other once a year. A lot of these artists that I know really well, and industry people and, and fans, um, sometimes I don't get to see it all during the year, and that's the one time I get to see them. So uh, that's the most important thing to me is going to connect. And it's not so much about you know the way it was when I first started, and it was like making friends and, and trying to uh, you know impress people and going out of my way to over try, and, and you know that doesn't have to happen anymore, which is good. But I love seeing the new artists as well that are up and coming that are starting their careers out and going, this is pretty cool, and seeing a few of them that you're really blown away by, as well as other ones that have already grown and, and matured, so uh, that's another really great part of it too. It's kind of like the best part. It is, it's kind yeah. of like one of the best parts, it's, it's especially the, most the raw. Ones. You know, yeah. And I love it when they come up and, you know, it, it's, it's happened many times where some established artists, but uh, some new artists have come up and said, you know, you're a really big part of my, uh, me wanting to become a singer or do what I do and be an entertainer. So, wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad I could help out. That's really cool. So, okay, so new artists. Who is the latest new artist that you've checked out that you're like, okay, let's let's send everyone from Stars Point Media Group to go check them out? Well, I think a guy that's making a lot of headway right now is a guy named uh, Eric Etheridge. He's from Ontario, and I've known Eric for a few years. And a uh, really great guy, tall, strapping young, young buck. And uh, uh, ladies love him, but he sounds really good too. He puts on a good show. and. And um, I think he's got potential to, to do something pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, everybody else is, there, there's a lot of other really great artists too. And Lindsay L, in my mind, I mean, still is a new artist to me. And Absolutely. Even though she's had a number one in Canada already, but uh, she still is that up and coming that I think is going to blossom into even something bigger down the States and internationally. So yeah, I'd say those two are first and foremost on my mind. Those two are really amazing. Yeah. Both of them are great. So, okay, we are in Airdrie. It's yes. the first time you've been back here in a while. Long time. What are you the most excited about being back here? Uh, well, I, I'm looking forward to a live outdoor crowd. The weather's on our side, thankfully. Absolutely. Um, the other thing, too, is the last time I was here was at a little little place called Twisters. Yeah. And I think it was probably 2005, Yeah. Seven? I can't remember. Long time ago, and it was just this little pub I, sort of thing downstairs in the like building. Did you? Yeah, because yeah, it was 19 Pretty plus. Cool. But it was really, um, it was an acoustic thing, so Mitch and I were playing in it, and it was really uh, quite intimate and up close and personal. 
Uh, but it was uh, it was a lot of fun. And I was like, well, one day, one of these days, I got to play Airdrie, Airdrie, the actual yeah. town. So this is my chance. Yeah, this will be fun. Yeah. This will be fun, and it's an all ages crowd. So you got yes. like everyone is out there. Totally, everyone. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun, and, and yeah, you can see the demographic of. Uh, there is no age demographic. It's everybody, no. which is perfect. And, and you know, there's a little beer gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, we're you know, 19 and or 18 and over. 18 here, I guess, years. Yes. Yeah. So it's uh, you're gonna get a mixed range of everybody. We need some people partying and singing along too. I think we've got that here. I think I so. Think we've got it. I feel it. So I have been doing some fun get to know you questions. Sure. So, what is the number one thing that you can't live without? Uh, well, my kids. That's first and yeah. foremost. But if you're talking about literally like a guilty pleasure, yeah, I can't live without exactly. chocolate. Chocolate. I can't live without chocolate. I have to have my chocolate, even though I don't eat much of it lately. So what is like the what's the number one chocolate we need to bring you next time? M and M's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the yellow M and M's. I was gonna say, are you like one of the fussy ones who's like it has to be the red M and M's? No, it doesn't have to be the color. It just has to be <laughs> the yellow package with okay. the peanuts. That's all. Fair enough. Or Fair the peanut enough. butter ones are good too. Okay. The caramel ones are really good. Those are good. Those are too addicting. Yeah. So yeah. Just stay away. Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah. <laughs> so you have, and you're covering them all, but you have a ton of tattoos. I do. Yeah. So which one would be your favorite? Oh, my favorite one? Um, probably my kids on my arm. Okay. And my, my children's names, all three boys on my arm. And uh, I got that. That was one of the first ones that I ever got, actually. Okay. So I, I got a little music uh, treble clef above it. Uh, that was the very first one I got. Probably the most expensive one I got, actually, of all things. Tiniest little thing. But then my kids on an armband on my uh, right arm. I that's think awesome. that's my favorite one by far. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you were going to have dinner with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Elvis Presley. Without Elvis? A doubt. Yeah. yeah. Elvis Presley. He was my first musical influence ever. And there was other influences back then, but he was the guy that was not only a singer, uh, you know, I'm listening to his music, but once I saw him, and saw that he has so much charisma and could capture an audience just by laying down on the stage. And I remember I saw, saw him reading a letter one time on stage to the audience and they were still going crazy, all these women. And I thought, well, that's pretty awesome. He's actually entertaining. He's putting on a show. I want to be like that. I want to be that guy that makes people just feel great all the time. Yeah, you, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm not the greatest singer of the world, uh, the greatest songwriter, the greatest musician. But I, I take pride in my stage show and making people feel good that way. So that's I got it all from Elvis Presley. I think you definitely accomplished that. I think <laughs> I you can totally so. accomplish it. I hope so. So last one, if we were to head over after your show to Bambinos just down the road, right. they have karaoke tonight. Oh boy. What would be your go-to karaoke song? Probably Unchained Melody. Okay. Yeah, from the Righteous Brothers. That was uh, one of the first songs I ever sang. And, and when I was doing karaoke, that's what got me into this industry in the first place was singing karaoke. Um, when I when I'd sing that song, uh, I don't know why people really loved it, and it became my song that everybody wanted to hear. You know, That's I could awesome. sing all these different songs, but they're like, "Do a chain melody, please." And some ladies would be like, "Please sing a chain melody for us." That's so, awesome. Yeah, it was, That's that, great. That'd be my. I don't know. If I could sing it very well now, but it was it was something that I sang all the time. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Thank you so much for You're chatting, welcome. and we will definitely do this again. Absolutely. Not three years next time. No, right? not yeah. three years. <laughs>